Okay, so welcome to Astro Bowden. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a galaxy that I really like the shape of, look of. Yeah, it's the Sunflower Galaxy, M63. Uh, don't actually know which constellation it is in. I think it's in Kane's Venacity, Hunting Dogs, but yeah, I don't know. It's a lot of galaxy that's getting hugged by or some major, so we'll, we'll take a look at that. Does it say here in the Stellarium? No. <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's focus on something else. Here we got the Sunflower Galaxy, a little preview of what they say it looks like here. And it actually, it's just so crisp with all these like contrasts and and dark fields and dust and stuff. It's, it, I do really like the look of this galaxy. I did take it <clears throat> um, a couple of years ago with my uh, modified DSLR. Uh, on the CGX mount uh, on Big Bertha, yeah, and I thought it came out very nicely, and um, I think it actually deserves a reprocess, but I'm going to do it again uh, in the setup that I've been using previously here. It's uh, the Lucid mount with Big Bertha, 0.7 reducer, and then my ASI 1600mm Pro uh, with filters, and it's... Uh, it's like uh, April, so it's the atmosphere is really bright. It's yeah, <clears throat> it's not the best. I'll I'll do this this uh, winter again. Yeah, it's a target that's quite high in the sky, so I think I will do this successfully in the winter. I don't have to wait for galaxy season to do it. <clears throat> yeah, but there's also other things you want to do during the winter. So anyway, so here it is, and um, <clears throat> so we're gonna shoot over to the um to the evening. Um, adventures here and see how things uh, how we can find it and get it in in the frame and how what it looks like yeah live mode going on right so we are imaging m63 the sunflower galaxy as we can see here yeah uh, yeah i actually tried a few uh, five minute frames and they look surprisingly well good, but you can still see a slight drift in in them. The drift between the guiding, which we've got here, looking really nice to me. 0.9 arc second total. That is spectacular. Uh, the only thing is that since this is not perfectly lined up with my main imaging uh, scope, there is a slight drift in the in the main imaging uh, view like this is a first two minute exposure and then this is number six so that is two exposures after there's a slight slight drift yeah and we have a full night of some uh, how many is it total of 120 exposures yeah so that means this is going to move quite a bit up this way. I'm guessing we're going to have the galaxy here somewhere by the end of the night. So one idea was to position it further down here. It's just that then I'm going to lose my guide star. So. Um, yeah. I'm just going to live with it. See what I get in the morning. Yeah. Yes. Um, so that is it. Anything else? No, I'm doing guiding in 0.5 seconds. It's been nice and clear. Here's number seven. Yeah. Motion is getting more noticeable with every extra frame. Anyway, so um, pushing one arc second here. Damn it. Anyway, uh, so I'm doing 0.5 second exposures since we had uh, it's not a very bright star. I guess it might be that star. I am, um, yeah, it's been doing all right. I haven't seen too much of the periodic error business, so that is doing a very good job and pretty much the rest of it. Yeah, so I guess it's the seeing conditions and uh, everything else that just lines up pretty nicely yeah 
So that's it. Uh, we're gonna leave this. Go to bed. Get up to work in the morning. See you later. Ta-da! Made the dogs happy. All right. So we have uh, had a nice evening shooting the Sunflower Galaxy M63. Yes. Uh, it was okay, yeah. Uh, still, the setup uh, between the two, uh, the main scope and the guy scope, is not the best. Uh, even though I'm trying to get it perfectly parallel, perfectly, uh, it's not really enough, and it's like drift in the main image. Uh, even though the guiding is uh, very nice, uh, mostly. Uh, so yeah, that's. Uh, and at the scale of things, it does quite a lot. But I'm trying to manage, and I think it's going to be okay anyway. Uh, the target stays within the field of view. The uh, galaxy is quite small, uh, but it's yeah, it's okay, I think. I'll see. So I'm just going to do my flats here. I got my homemade little dew shield here. Works okay. And I got my homemade dew heater. Piece of cathode wire uh, and stainless steel welding rod. Flexes out inside the tube. Pressed up in some shrink wrap or some cable sock just to protect it, not having rough edges. If I remove it, it uh, dews up, so that's okay. It consumes about, it's a 5 volt, so it consumes about uh, one, just under 1 amp. So it's about, well, 0.8 amps or something, so just below 5 amp. So, while that's doing that, we could, uh, is there anything else we want to talk about here? No? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> can look, look at the setup since we're here. Yeah. <sighs> so, <clears throat> for anyone who hasn't followed this, this is my my homemade direct drive mount called the Lucid Mount. <clears throat> so I got two, uh, two kilowatt uh, 60 volt VLDC hub motors uh, here for my main drive. Uh, they run on 12 volts, so I've got 230 up here, uh, and then 12 volts to the motor controller and the driver, and also to the, uh, uh, the USB hub, which then powers, uh, the camera and, uh, the, uh, uh, Stella Mate Raspberry Pi computer, um, uh, yeah, the guy computer, uh, the guy, the camera, and then the uh, dew heater, and in this case the uh, flat screen, all that. They uh, got the little uh, pull master there, yeah. So it works pretty well. It's a bit sensitive to the wind, yeah. I mean, if I, I can, if I do that, you see it flexes, and that is because uh, it's basically just there's no gearing, nothing whatsoever. It's just a magnetic field holding it just like a motor and it's, so it's, it's a little bit sensitive to that and there's no encoders here it's just open loop uh, which of course is not the best but uh, it's uh, expensive and time consuming to uh, get encoders and to uh, integrate them in the system so I haven't done that yet there's a plan there's a plan here somewhere for something like it but uh, we're, we just have other plans and things in life to deal with than to to uh, build this. Uh, I guess we're done with our flats. All complete. Excellent. <clears throat> so, uh, it's going to be clear tonight as well. It's been better, maybe calmer than it was tonight. And tonight was okay. 
Yeah, maybe a little bit of clouds drifting through, uh, some uh, very uh, thin, high clouds. But right, <clears throat> so that's good, totally good. So as I said, what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to once this is done, I'm just going to cover it up. I'm going to take my old bike cover and cover all this up. I'm going to turn the motors off. Uh, it's not going to swing around too much. I might actually take one of the counterweights off. That means that it's a little bit heavy on the um, uh, OTA side and might hold a little bit more against any wind gusts that could turn it. But it was okay today and it's not going to, or yesterday, and it's not going to be any more winds apparently. But you never know. <coughs> um, yeah. <coughs> So I 3D printed a little, I don't know what you can see here or not, so I 3D printed a little like extra cover for my uh, guide scope on the bathroom mask, I store on top of the other cover. See you next time, let the dark side be with you.